Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about one more problem from lead code. It is an easy problem that is position of large groups. The problem statement goes like this that in a string S, it consists of lower case letters. These letters form conjugative groups of same characters. So it will form conjugative groups as you can see that it is A, then B, B, then X, 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 and X, Z, Y, Y. So these are conjugative groups, let's say of this type. Now a group is identified by the interval. Okay. A particular group is identified like what is the start and the end of a particular group that is this now a group is considered large if it has three or more characters of the same type that is a group now return the intervals of every large group in an increasing order by the starting index so this is the group index so let's say that there is a large group which is greater than or equal to three that is this x is start from the third index and it is the sixth index nothing else any group is like having greater than three characters similarly this has no character that is greater than three and this has three groups greater than three and like this is d this e is and this yeah. so that's the overall uh, code what you can directly do in this that you have to form groups and we have talked about different problems on this channel about groups so if you haven't checked this out i will also link some problems in the i button but what's the major intuition for this problem is that whenever we are forming groups it's better to insert at the end a different type of character that is not in the whole universe of the characters that you are using in this whole string that is only lower case english letter let's say you insert a hash at the end of the string so that you can find out different groups easily instead of just like writing one more if conditions it becomes very easy now what you will do is that you will iterate over and find out every group you have to also store the first occurrence from the group where you start and the occurrence at which the group ends and uh, what is the, if the length of that group is greater than or equal to three you will just insert that starting and ending index of the group in sub let's say answer vector and just find it on that's all the logic nothing much complicated here as well let us go to the code part so that it will become more clear to you what you have done is this is the last that is starting from zero which means that what is the last occurrence of the group that we're iterating over so we'll start from the first index the first group starting from the zeroth index cool inserting a different type of character that's a hash in the end of the string this is just to terminate the whole for loop at the end but also taking care of the last group of the string that we have this is the answer vector that will store the final answers this is the total which is the group length okay like whatever group we are iterating over what is the length of that we can also calculate from the current index minus the last index but you can also take this variable your choice now what we'll do is that we will iterate over this whole string from the second index now what I'll do is that I will just check the like that whether the current index and the, and the previous index are same, which means that we are going in the same group. If we are going in the same group, which means that it is cool, we'll just increment the total in the same group. But whenever I find out that my group changes, like I've completed one particular group, what I'll do is that I have the group length and I have the last character at which the group was starting at. What I'll do is that I will just first check that the length of the cat, like the group we have, to be greater than or equal to three. If it is greater than or equal to three, I will insert the group in the answer vector the group starting was last and the current is i minus one because the i is a character at which it changes out but the the same group was at i minus one so it will it we insert that in the answer vector now because we have started a new group we will make my total equal one because now group new group is started and the last becomes equal to i because now a new group started so for that group the leftmost index is now pointing at at i because now we have Let's take an example. Let's say we have the string, let's say A, A, B, B, B. So, what I'll do is that I will match this with this, which means that in the same group, match this with this, it is not in the same group. So, which means that this group has ended. We are on this i. So, the group was from this 0th index to i minus 1. This is the group. And now we've started from the new index, like new group. So, this group was start from i. And now I'll again match this is the same group. This is the same group. But as you can see, that now we have no termination point at this point the for loop will break and if the for loop will break then we will not take considering of this group so what you can do is that we add a hash that when we go on this point it's not equal to this and thus whenever i find not equal to this i will find out that this group is now completed group is not completed the length is equal to three so now the starting index was we have this i and the current index was i minus one because we are on this i so i minus one is the end of this particular group insert that Keep on iterating that and just print out the answer that is the different app which has length written equal to and they will be in the sorted form because we're iterating from left to right so all of them will be sorted 
So the overall time complexity is O of n because we're just doing a for loop. The space complexity is storing out this answer vector, so O of n as well for this. That's the overall time complexity and space complexity for this problem. If you still have doubts, you can mention it in the comment box for this problem. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I will see you in the next one. Till keep coding and bye.